Um, on, on, on the police uh, blotter, as you, as you know, we, we had a lot of reports over the, the, um, the last couple of days, including Monday, which was a day off for us. Um, but the highlighted one was uh, first uh, uh, on Friday evening, a case that we've been working uh, since the 2nd of January, a burglary of a habitation where uh, about $6,000 worth of jewelry was taken from a residence. Uh, both of these two officers uh, from the get-go uh, pretty quickly develop a, a prime suspect in, uh, of great interest for us. And once their investigation unfolded, uh, found out that this young man the suspect uh, was also wanted by uh, the federal government for violation of a uh, federal probation condition that he had. Um, anyway, uh, to, to cut the story short, uh, we arrested uh, with the assistance of agents from the uh, Texas Department of Public Safety, uh, Jesus Manuel Pargas, 24-year-old. Uh, Mr. Pargas also was on a conditional release from the federal government for involvement in the narcotic trade. Plus, uh, we had him tied to, to this home burglary that occurred here in our community on the 2nd of January. Uh, the other case that, that could have turned into a deadly situation, uh, and there are only allegations, but uh, we were able to find certain pieces that uh, will depend to see if we're gonna go forward with the case. Um, we responded to a call of, uh, of uh, a disturbance in progress at the Valero uh, gas station uh, at the corner of Maine <coughs> and Veterans Loop. Uh, when we got there, of course, nobody was there except one who claims to be there. <coughs> he claims that uh, he was uh, confronted by an individual that uh, pointed a gun at him and then fled the scene. Uh, Officer Hector Rodriguez was able to locate the vehicle and the person and retrieve the, the weapon uh, at the parking lot uh, by uh, Walmart. And he, of course, had some, a different version of the story. And we're still looking at both stories. Uh, the alleged uh, victim did not want to file formal complaints and stuff like that. But nevertheless, uh, the, uh, the the issue of being in possession of a firearm is, is a concern to us. And we're looking at that angle. Uh, so uh, no arrests were made, but several people were identified. And, and hopefully, if, if, if there's anything having to do with, with the perfection of a criminal case of possession of a farm, then we'll follow through.